All right, everybody here is an ad nerd, I'm guessing, and pays attention to all the work that's out there. Mm -hmm. Just love a, a quick discussion on what healthcare work, you know, are you loving and like what's trending and you wanna see more of and potentially what you're like, all right, enough, enough of this already and like been done to death. Just curious from everybody's POV. Oh, this that's is stuff. Question. That's a big question. It is it's a big, big question. question. Yeah. You can uh, keep it small though, if you want. Okay, I think we can all agree that uh, we are on the, the sea of seamless, right? Everything looks the same for a reason, mm -hmm. because uh, it is indeed a very risk adverse. Uh, uh, it is not uh, creatively mature, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say. So, so um, yeah, uh, I think, uh, uh, sorry, let me frame it. Let, let's cut. Um, yeah, I don't want to be negative, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's try to be positive. So, uh, talking about train, um, I think that looking to uh, health category, let's divide health and wellness in pharma. Yes. I think that health and wellness have played like a very important role on, on taking the lead on pushing creativity related to healthcare. So healthcare and creativity start uh, appearing more and more and more in health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And we are getting like the momentum from health and wellness trying to infuse that a little bit in pharma. So basically when I mentioned body form, mm -hmm. that reference helped me like to push Faxi ad, yes. for example. Yes, so it came from health and wellness reference. Now we're trying to get it into farm and push it into farm. Mm. That's a great yeah. point. That's really important. Yeah. I think that getting inspiration from the big campaigns that are doing it, but also I think a, a great trend as well is people are doing more um, innovative work in all senses, not just, I mean, look at all um, the great work, you know, nowadays in healthcare, it's very unlikely to get a, a branded DTC TV ad as one of your favorite pieces because it's so hard. And I think the, one, the people that are sort of skirting around that and using the budget to do more experiential thing, you know, look at um, uh, Area 23 did that unwearable collection thing, you know, where they worked with the fashion designer the to do, you know, like, g great. We should be doing stuff like that where we, yeah. we approaching briefs at a way which is sort of easier for creativity to get through, but, but also understanding like that's where the potential could be. It's not just the traditional medium. So I know we spoke earlier about how great print is great, but in this particular market, it is very hard because all eyes are on those projects, you know? Mm -hmm. What's the sort of backdoor yeah. stuff you can do, which makes, um, it makes the creativity yeah. shine. Mm -hmm. and, and just talking about this specific work, I think it plays a very important role mm. because it brings creativity to our big pharma brands. Mm. So, so it's a big pharma yes. behind it. Mm. So the more examples we have for the big pharma, oh. the best. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, so this is a trend that I would love yeah. seeing, yeah. seeing increasing yeah. Yeah. more creative work for the big pharma, traditional mm -hmm. big pharma. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think we are an industry on the <laughs> ascent. We have not made it yet. No. That is, it's no, a no. sad statement, but I think it's true. And maybe health and wellness is our gateway drug exactly. to get great pharma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, gateway drug. <laughs> I think right. so. I really think. Yeah. 